I'm here in Austin to be um, um, part of the festival South by Southwest. I have three showcases this year and doing a lot of press here and there. When I first started my career, I got a lot of support from um, my label, Warner, Warner Brothers, and I also got a lot of support from my management team in Mexico. Got a lot of support from musician friends, a lot of support from songwriters that I co-wrote stuff with. And of course, you know, most importantly, my producers, you know, who was Tweety Gonzalez, was the producer of my first record. Juan Campodonico was, was the other one. Well, creatively and artistically, I think I am influenced by a lot by the music that I'm currently listening to. So, um, and also, you know, if, if it if it relates to um, the album that I'm trying to make. So, for example, if I was trying to make a more upbeat record, like my last record, I was listening to a lot of Little Dragon and Zelda and a little bit of um, Mikachu and the Shapes and a lot of stuff that was like that was playing on my iPod at the time. Um, and I guess creatively, I just I I'm influenced by everything. Everything you see, like what you read, what you watch, um, who you surround yourself by, traveling, all that really influences and makes me grow as an artist. Well, right now I just bought because we're at South by Southwest. Um, I bought um, the new tennis record, which is really nice. Um, I've been listening to that. I've been listening to a band called Caveman that I also recently discovered through through my drummer and he um, he played me this band called Caveman. They're also playing at South by and they're they're great. I'm a huge Twitter fan, so I I tweet a lot about what I'm doing, where I am, uh, you know, keep people up to date or posted about news or stuff that's going on in my life and um, yeah, I mean I think I, I really think I mean my first um, record I made pretty much thanks to MySpace because that's you know that's how I met a lot of the people that I co-wrote with or that I, or that I ended up working with you know it was all through the internet so um, so I think that social media is a great way to connect well definitely uh, one of my highlights for my career was playing in Mexico at this venue called Metropolitan which was you know a concert venue that I had gone to see amazing artists like you know Fito Paez or or I got to see Jamie Cullum there, so it was amazing to to play that venue finally, you know, and 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 ha have a sold out show there. That was definitely one of the highest points of my career. And then, you know, I got to meet uh, some of my idols, you know, like Jorge Drexler, and and getting to meet him and and have him tell me that he liked my my music was you know was great. Well, I really wanted. Um, when my first record, uh, when I stopped touring for my first record, I, you know, I was offered this opportunity to record a record in English, and I thought it was going to be a great, um, great idea. You know, I thought it was it was going to be challenging, and I'm always up for a challenge. I don't like to feel like I'm just winging it, and that I, and you know, I, I knew that I was going to have to grow a lot like an artist, and I was going to have to learn. So for me, it was it was all about the learning experience. Well, I don't really remember the first time that I listened to my song on the radio, but it definitely feels really nice. I do remember the first time that I heard my song on the radio for this record. I was like shopping in like a shopping mall, and I heard it, you know, playing the store that I was in. And no, actually, it was in an airport. I was in an airport shop, and and I I heard it, um, and I was like super excited. And you know, I I told the, the lady at the counter like that's my song, and she was like she thought of course that I didn't. That I didn't mean that, that I just meant that I really liked that song. She was like, okay, that's great. <laughs> it was funny. Hi, my name is Jimenez Serignana, and I'm with the Grammys here at South by Southwest.